Okay, hey guys, um, I just, I'm kind of upset right now, because I just recorded, like, a whole five minutes of my spring tag, and it just erased. So I'm just gonna do this quicker, um, so yesterday, I uploaded it this morning, um, I'm sorry that this is really bad quality, I'm doing it on my computer, because I kind of doing this glitch on so my favorite sp spring like makeup face stuff is this my dream matte powder and it comes with like a padding pad but I don't use it my physician's formula organic wear mascara and it's in this pr pink tube shaped like a leaf almost yeah it's in ultra black and fake out mascara then I use this Kat Von D tattoo eraser for your under eyes also. And it looks like the other end. It's like a pink, but it blends into your skin. Then I always use my Eco Tools Kabuki brush. It's a retractable one, so I really like that. I use the Dream Matte Powder also for setting foundation and makeup, and I also use it just if I have really oily skin that day. So that's it for the makeup. My favorite spring songs, I'm gonna go quick with this because that's what made my camera just go out when I was saying all this. So I'm gonna just go pretty quick. Um, there's categories. I'm gonna sit, do the dubstep one first because if you don't know me that well, I love dubstep so much. It's like half my life. So this is the first dubstep song still getting it by foreign beggars and skrillex it's a really awesome song um nuke him by datsik d-a-t-s-i-k um more i don't know which one this is it's by skrillex it's like scary monsters more scary monsters and nice sprites or something i don't know which one it is just it's something like that and then, uh, Bangarang by Skrillex, Rock and Roll by Skrillex, The Devil's Den by Skrillex, and Wolfgang, Gar Wolfgang Gartner. Um, and that's all of the dubstep songs. So now I'm just gonna do regular songs. Um, Home Wrecker by Marina and the Diamonds, The Way by Mac Miller and Ariana Grande. Suit and Tie by uh, Justin Timberlake and Jay-Z. Stay by Rihanna, and I think it's either Mickey or Mikey Echo. Um, I Love It by o Icona Pop. Lost and Found um, by Tessa Rose Jackson. Next to Me by Emily Sande, or Sandy, I don't know, it's S-A-N-D-E. But Emily is E-M-E-L-I. Um, Started From the Bottom by Drake, that's an awesome song. Never an Absolution by James Horner, it's a Titanic song, it's like the theme song, not, um, My Heart Will Always Go On, or that, not by Celine Dion, it's just like, it's just like, instrumental, is that what it is? Not, there's no singing in it. Can't Hold Us by... Macklemore, and I think it's Ray Dalton or something. I'm not sure about the Ray part. I'm not sure about Ray Dalton. I don't know if that's the name. But I know Macklemore definitely sings in it. Midnight City by M83. Um, Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. I love that song. Uh, that's, like, I listen to more songs of Led Zeppelin, definitely. Um, that's the main song that I love, though. Um, then the song, uh, In the House in a Heartbeat by John Murphy. This is a kind of creepy song. Um, I don't, I'm not that creepy goth person. I just, like it, I just like that song. Like, it's a cool song. Um, but it's from the movie 28 Days Later, which is, which, um, The Walking Dead is actually based on. So if you know the first episode of The Walking Dead, where Rick is in the hospital, and he wakes up, and, like, nobody's there, and he's, like, walking down, and he's, like, all, like, weird, and, and he's, like, all, like, just, like, 
something like that. That part is actually in 28 Days Later, but of course it's not him, it's the guy that plays the guy in 28 Days Later. But, um, yeah, I like this song. Um, that it's from that movie. 28 Days Later is, if you don't know that movie, I'll just give you a brief summary. It's, um, The Walking Dead is based on it, so Walking Dead, you can already hear what it's about zombies or walkers i like calling it walkers because zombies sound like some weird geek would say it i don't like how it sounds so um this guy basically wakes up in a hospital 28 days later after the zombie attack or the um disease or infection um called rage um so like there's like it's just kind of creepy and then he it's just creepy has zombies in it though. Sorry, I'm just looking out my window because I have my shades down and like there's stuff moving outside, but it's just it's nice. Um, and then the next song is Skyfall by Adele. These are all the songs that I've been liking during the spring. Skyfall, oh my god, I love that song. Let the sky fall, let it crumble. We will stand tall and face it all. Together. I love that song. Sorry. I just had like a singing moment. Okay. Gonna go quick. I forgot. Favorite store for spring? Hands down Lush. Lush. Like this is, but my clothes store would be like Free People. That's really expensive. But I love it. Free People and what else? Oh, Tilly's. Yeah, Tilly's. That's amazing. I love that store. So, those are my two favorite, like, clothing stores for the spring. Then, for, like, not makeup, just, like, stuff, like, body stuff for the spring. Sorry, I have the bag. I always keep the bag. So, I always just put all my raw stuff in here. I've used everything else, so I'm just going to show you. I have... You know the hair bun. I have this. This is a sugar lip scrub. Mint juleps lip scrub. Tasty mint chocolate sugar lip buffer for smooth moves and sweeter kisses. Lush fresh handmade cosmetics. So it does definitely taste like mint chocolate chip. It's amazing. It tastes so amazing. Like I want to eat it all like with a spoon. Then this is just a green bath bomb, bath fizzy, B bath fizzy, whatever you want to call it, this is in avo bath, it's like with avocado and stuff, it smells amazing, I wish you could smell it, yeah can't, so then this is big blue sea or something, big blue, okay. if you can see that, and if you see those little brown stuff, or green, like those black stuff, that's seaweed. It's a piece of the seaweed. It smells just like, like what you would want an ocean to smell like. Like, you know how it smells really bad, but it smells like how you would want it to smell. So that's my favorite, like, store, like, body store for the spring. Favorite spring shoes. I'm going to say it again. Hands down, Sperry's. Those just go with spring so much for me. Like, I have two pair. I have two pairs. Oh, my God. Two pairs. Um, I am going back to get another pair because I absolutely love them. And they were on sale for 50 bucks, so I kind of have to get them. They're usually, like, 80 bucks. The ones that I got are so bad. I mean, I don't want to buy them. They're 80 bucks, but... So, I'm going to show you my first pair of berries are these. They're like leopard or cheetah or whatever you want to say. I got these like, I don't know, kind of maybe during October. Yeah, October. Or, no, the end of September, beginning of October. Or, in the middle of October. I just love them. These are my first berries. They're so comfortable now. These are the top cider. 
Now I'm going to show you my newest addition to the family. Ba bam I love these so much. They have, like, those stripes. These are just more suitable for school for me. These are kind of just, like, going to town or something. These, you can wear for both. Like, I love these. Um, they're so cute. And I really like that they have, like, the cushion inside. They came with that. Like, it was already in there. It's really good for, like, the arch and your heel. And I think there's something up by the toes. Yeah. So, love these. These are also topsiders. I just love them. Oh, hold on, I have the box. Yeah, the box. Sorry about that. But, um, these are the Intrepid Navy Fear Sucker. Yeah. I love them. See, this is. I wonder if there's, like, whenever I get different, whenever I get shoes, like, Fergie shoes, they always say, there's always a note inside saying, thank you for buying Fergalicious shoes. Which they have those ones, right? That'd be so cool. Yeah. Where did I put my notepad? Okay. Spring Shoes, my favorite book that I've been reading during the spring. I just got this a few weeks, days ago. I'm a SEAL Team 6 Warrior. This is an awesome book. Memoirs of an American Soldier. It's just awesome. Like, here, if you wanna... Here, I'll just do that. So, if you want, you could pause it and read the back. So, yeah. Look for this book in your local bookstore. Because it's really awesome. It's kind of, there's a part in it that's kind of gross and gory, I guess. My friend told me that. I didn't get to that part yet. So, I don't know. That was my favorite spring book that I've been reading during the spring. Now, I wrote down an airy brush. Something really good for your hair during the springtime. That won't get your hair tangled, you know, how you're all crazy in springtime. This is my wet brush and a metallic pink color. I've kind of jazzed back up a bit. It says Emily's Brush the Trillics pink brush. It has a bunch of crap on it. I don't know. This is my just favorite brush. It doesn't hurt your head. Like I'll have a big knot and I'll just be like it's out. Like, it won't hurt at all. So that's what I love about wet brushes. Sorry, this is such a long video. I take such a long time with everything. Hairstyle and hair product. Favorite hairstyle is just, like, down and wavy like this lately. And the part in the middle. But, just for this video, I'm just going to... Do you want to fight? Do you want to use like bum rocks? I like it because it's just like boom. So yeah. Um. The reason why I like is it gets it out of your face, like when I'm doing homework, or when I'm in school, and I'm like taking a test, it doesn't look this horrible. But, yeah. Hold on, I really got it out of my face. Um, my favorite, like, hair product, I use this at night and in the morning. Pantene Pro-V Overnight Miracle. Looks like this, and it's blue. I love this so much. And you put, like, a few pumps in your hand. It matters how thick and how long your hair is. I put two pumps. Your hair is like down to your butt. And it's like that thick. Put like five pumps. No, like four or five. Three or four. Four or five. I don't know. So my favorite lip stuff is of course the Mint Juleps. And my Eos. This Eos. And it's like this really nice minty color. 
much good smell right now. It is the peppermint one. I don't know what it's exactly called, but it's a peppermint one. I just love peppermint, as you can see from the mint juleps one. I love minty stuff. Now my essentials. I don't know why I put essentials down. I guess just like things that really have nothing to do with any of this. But just stuff I really like during the spring. This is an aloe vera, like, Puro, 100% gel, pure, no color added, hand sanitizer thingy. So, it, like, makes your hands really soft while cleaning. Then this is my 17 essential emergency kit. I'm not going to get into it because there's just so much tiny things in there. But I'll just take, let you take a look. If you can see this thing, that shiny part. That is actually a miniature hairspray. So if you want me to get into more depth of this, comment. And take out every and I'll take out everything. Now my favorite makeup remover for the spring and that won't make your face feel like there's so much damn grease on it. Maybelline New York Clean Express. All the way. This is just like the liquid that you can put on a cotton ball. Um, it's a waterproof eye makeup remover. And, yeah. It removes like waterproof mascara. So I usually wear waterproof mascara. Quick break technology. So I really like this one. And you have to like shake it to activate it. Then it's just the wipes that you can buy with them. It's not, it doesn't come with it, but. Facial towelettes. So I really use these most of the time, like in the morning, I just like put it over my eyes and I use this more on like the weekends and stuff flat light. So that's my favorite makeup remover for that I've been using during springtime. Uh dye and coloring. I only dye my hair occasionally. Like my hair it's fine right now. When I go out into the sun it gets like this weird orangey color, it gets these weird highlights in it that I don't like, and it's not like I dye my hair every day, it's like when that happens, so I make sure I have this on hand in my room, my Garnier Nutrice Nourishing Color Foam, Rich Radiant Permanent Color, use these numbers, this is a foam, this is my favorite, it's in number 5, medium brown. This is my favorite one because this is what matches my hair color. Right now, you can't really even see my hair, but it matches my hair color. So that's what I do because my hair is fine right now. Then this is, like, I only do, like, a few pieces down here occasionally, like, underneath. Like, I don't even, like, not half, like, like a tiny bit. This is, I dye it, like, a turquoise aqua color. Just a tiny bit though, like streaks, like tiny ones underneath. It's splat, so this is what it looks like. It's already open, but I continue to keep using it occasionally. Keep using it. This is one application, but I always close the top a good way, so I don't have to go out and get a new one and spend nine more dollars again. Okay. Favorite snack. Actually, I should say favorite snacks, though. If you have a Trader Joe's by your house, go there right now. This is Trader Joe's Cinnamon Apple Snack Sticks, a sweet, crunchy, multi-green multi snack but made with apples and cinnamon. These are my life, I mean, since I've got them. I've just been eating them. Mmm. So this video is so long. Now, another one. This what I sometimes have for breakfast when I'm rushing out of the house. Pop tarts, oatmeal delights, frosted maple leaf brown sugar. So good, I put it in the microwave, I put it in the toaster. Just 
just so pretty. It's amazing. I love it. Now I know why I love my brother loves me so much. Do you have a drink? What's the last question? Favorite drink? Yes, I do have it in my room. Simply orange with mango. It's amazing. If you like oranges, if you like mangoes, get this, please. Pulp free with mango. It's amazing. I almost drink all of it. It's just amazing. I love it so much. And you need to shake it well. So, I think that is it. I'm just checking around my room to make sure I got everything. Yes, and that's it. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, apologies again for such a long damn video. Um, so yeah, I hope that you like this video, and I'll see you guys later. Um, please subscribe and comment and rate and all those things. Please, please, please. I only have like five subscribers and I really need more. So thanks and I'll see you guys later. Bye.